How's it going, Shopbox Universe? Welcome to another video in our pricing series. Today we're going to be talking about banners. That's right, banners and banner stands. So we're going to cover those two products here today, banners and banner stands. One product, banners, we're going to be assuming that you're going to be printing them in-house, that you're a shop that has the capability of printing wide format banners at least up to 54 inch machines. The second product that we're going to be covering today are banner stands. Now, you could be a shop that's making your own banner stands and that's fine, but in this particular case, we're going to connect a product to the pricing of one of our vendors B2 sign. So let's get at it. So here we are uh, at our digital print product page uh, for mm -hmm. banners. And this is, uh, you know, you will go here, you click on POS settings, pricing, and products. You type in banners and you'll get to it. We'll start off with a couple of things I'm, I don't usually cover here, but I wanted to make sure that we had a th thorough understanding of what goes into creating any given product at any given time. So... This information, the basic information, and the additional information here, you can get as explicit with it as you want, as detail-oriented as possible. You'll notice here under additional information, preferred vendor, it's blank. You could put the vendor name, the vendor contact information, the vendor website, the, the, the URL to where you can order these products from for your employees. That's right. If they go further into the product, they can actually figure out where to order these banners or banner stands from. Um, what else can you put on here? You can put your volume discounts. You can put your range discounts. Uh, you can also put shipping costs from the vendor. You can do a lot with it here. Uh, but this is what this is the type of information that you can put into any product, not just banners and banner stands. So here, let's go into the pricing template here. This is going to be a basic product here that's uh, done by square footage, height and width. We're also going to have a couple of Boolean options here for double sided, for wind slits, for pole pockets, and we're going to show you all that momentarily. Um, just out of reference because a lot of you have been asking if you go to POS settings pricing and products and then click on actions and copy products this screen right here when you type in banners this is where and this is where all of the products that we're showcasing here in this pricing series are going to be made available to you to copy. All you got to do is here is hit copy and download them to your price book inside your own Shopbox accounts. Uh, a few of you are wondering why these products were not in your Shopbox account. It doesn't work that way. You actually have to download them into your product catalog. And that's how you do that there. A little tip there for those of you that didn't know that. All right, so let's get into it here. So we're on our uh, quote page, and we typed in digital print banners. This is the title of the product. And you're going to have your own um, little description here. I would highly recommend you making this fit your own language for your own shop. So we're going to type in here, uh, let's say, 48 by 96. We're going to talk about one banner that's 4 by 8 here. Uh, notice how nothing uh, changed as far as base price. We have a minimum here that this product is, is scheduled to. So a $40 minimum, no matter what the size is, is going to be charged no matter what dimensions and what selections here that you choose. So in this example, we're going to uh, leave all of these blank for a moment, but we're going to go in here and go to our first drop down. You know, we're going to have high speed printing, standard printing, high quality, double strike and triple strike. Uh, for banners, we're just going to go to standard. And then you have a couple of images here, 12 ounce, 13 ounce, 13 ounce matte, 13 ounce gloss, 18 ounce matte, 8 ounce mesh, block out banner, and also polyester. So again, those photographs are crucial to the employees that you hire that are maybe new to the industry that don't necessarily know 
what these types of materials look like, but they're also put there to help educate the cons uh, to educate the employee to educate the consumer on what options they actually have when it comes to banners. So here we're just going to go with our standard 13 ounce mat and now you'll see that the price changed because of the selection. That's how this pricing template works. It's taking the ink, the material, and any potential accessories that you have here and giving me a square foot price. So we're going to ask, do we have any uh, banner accessories? Uh, maybe this banner is going to be mounted to a U-channel post. Maybe it's being mounted to 4x4 PVC posts. Maybe we need some banner loops or a banner pole system, uh, or maybe some banner ups, some adhesive grommet tabs, uh, zip ties, S-hooks, sign hanger clips, suction cups. A lot of people hang banners from inside a window. Suction cups could be a very key accessory here for you to sell. Velcro and zip ties. And if you can come up with anything more, you can add it here to the banner accessories material grouping, which is made available when you download this product. All right, so we're not going to choose any there. Uh, and now you've got your custom fields. Where is the sign going to be installed? We're going to put this on an exterior wall. Uh, yes, we need grommets, so we're going to put every uh, two feet on all sides. And then what is to be written? And we're going to say customer supplied artwork. All right, what is the purpose of this banner? Uh, temporary special discount. Okay, we're going to write something like that. Now, we'll go, let's go back to some of these booleans here. If it's double-sided, watch what happens. That price jumps from 269 to 364. It's calculating here a price that is based off of the base price, and it's going to add a certain percentage. Do you need wind slits? This is adding a flat fee for the wind slits. Pull pockets width. This is adding and pull cop pockets height. This is actually adding a linear foot per uh, per side. So if you need it on the width side, it's only calcu calculating it on the width. If you're if you're selecting pull pockets height, it's only going on the other two sides on the on the height side of whatever you put in here. So make sure you put in the right dimensions because this is what's going to calculate based off of what your input here is. And then finally, rush charge. This is a simple $50 fee that we have programmed here, but you can make this whatever you'd like. You can add it as a percentage. You could add a, a couple of different options here. I know a lot of you like to do a three-day rush, a two-day rush, a one-day rush, and charge different charges for those rush charges. So uh, I, I just programmed it here with a quick $50 charge, um, which seems to be suitable for a lot of shops. So let's actually go into... Uh, the product here quick all right so as you get down here you can clearly see that the height is being charged on 48 inches at at 40 cents in an inch and it's calculating a cost of nine dollars and sixty cents and we're going to charge the customer 1920 it's also calculating on the on the width here because i checked both uh, boxes uh, so our cost here is 1920 and it's going to 3840 is what we're charging the customer again fifty dollars for the rush charge and it's also calculating the square foot which is 36 because you have some wastage there and the ink at 32 uh, so you're going to have those two pieces of, to the formula to uh, mark up in your shop so like everything else it's going to tell you your overall cost which is 96 bucks and your price for this project is going to be 377.24 again you can also add in some others here if you want you can add in some options for design charges for file setup fee charges for pre-press charges whatever you want as far as doing that but uh, getting to the basics of this product once i hit this x here like every other product so far in this series, it's designed to put all the information here in the invoice for you uh, so that you don't actually have to write anything other than filling out what is inside that product. Now that it's all here, it's got all the information that you need to display to your customer. Okay, grommets on every side. It's going to tell you that the customer is supplying the artwork and that this is what it's designed for. The purpose of this banner is a temporary special discount. All right, that the rust charge is being added, that the pull pockets for the height and width are being added. This is the banner material, and this is your size. Now, 
you have your total price. What I like here is that you can actually see your cost, profit, and margin on the right side here. This is something I've always looked at because you can hide it from the customer if the customer's in front of you, but you can also see per line item where you're going to be on this particular invoice. So on this particular invoice, uh, with the pricing that we have uploaded here, we're gonna be just under 75% profitable on this job. But now, like I promised, let's actually add the retractable banner. The customer actually asked for a banner retractable. First and foremost, I left a lot of this blank because a lot of you are making banner stands yourself. But for those shops that are not and that are using B2Sign or another supplier, this is how simple your product needs to be. So let's actually... Um, take a quick peek at what we got going on here so banner stands here 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 they all are these are the ones that i chose with images for uh us to use in our pricing product here uh you have everything from your retractables at 33 inches to 23 inches you also have all the way down here at the bottom a tabletop banner stand which is 11 by 17 so you have that small little guy if you want as well you have double sided you have super duty you have your standard you have your deluxe models you also have some tension fabric options here uh and an x stand option here so this is pretty much everything that b2 signs has available in their product catalog for retractable banner stands and why I thought it was important to do this is because it's a simple product. It's a simple product to program once you have the pricing for that product, the cost that the manufacturer uses, uh, will charge you, excuse me, uh, then it's super easy to program your own pricing into your uh, back end here. So let's actually go back and show you how this product is designed. So we'll type in stands here. Here's the banner stand. The pricing template is pretty simple. You can clearly see here, this is a formula product where with the material as a banner stand. Now, many of you might ask, well, why are you adding banner stands as a material? That's very simple. Shopbox doesn't allow you to add products from other vendors into your product catalog. Instead, you would have to either program in your pricing template a material or labor cost. Uh, so you could simply create a material category, calling it banner stands, and add all of your uh, materials, or, or I should say product selection from your vendor into that category. And that's how that is done. And when we show it to you, you see here are all of the options that are inside of that banner stand a, uh, selection here in your category. All right, we have some accessories, we have more accessories, and that's pretty much what's everything that's making up to this product. This is these three categories here that pretty much make this up. Uh, let's just make sure that this is being shared, and now it is. Share, see, share with Fox Community. So once I hit update here, this product banner stands is going to be available for you, which it now is, to download to your product and catalog. So let's go back to the quote. So very simple, let's just pick one. A uh, very standard one. I, I mark these popular because this is a th standard size, 33 by 81. And you also notice that some of these accessories, like the LED light for a banner stand and LED light for a trade show display, are the only options here for them to choose. Now, you have a couple of more here in the more accessories, which we'll cover. But these particular cat uh, accessories are in a category designed for banner stands. So there are, uh, there's another material category called banner stand accessories, and that's where you'll be able to add and these uh, particular items. This way they're isolated from themselves and it makes it super easy when you're making material categories to select that this is the material category you wanna add for this accessory selection. So we'll, uh, we'll just pick a light, a light's cool. And now you have some more accessories here. So uh, this is, very interesting. I thought this was uh, easy for us to program into this product, but you might also have those instances where a customer comes in and says, you know, the actual mechanism, the, the retractable hardware uh, broke. Um, it didn't, it, it's not working after a year. You know, it's got its uses out of it. Maybe a couple of times you pulled it a little too tough and the customer just wants to simply buy the hardware. Well, B2Signs and some of the other vendors also add 
uh, the product themselves without the print to it as an available selection to, to buy. So we too will add those accessories to this drop down. So if the customer just simply wants the standard retractable 33 by 81 hardware, all you have to do here is just select this and it'll give you a price for that. Uh, step and repeat hardware. Uh, traveling cases, more X stands. If they just if they break, if they somehow snap, you have those available to you to select. So this is just your accessories that come to uh, that come without the digital print aspect of the sign. So we won't select anything there. So here you go, a one banner stand, uh, 33 by 81 with the LED light for a banner stand is going to come to 268.98. We're gonna hit save and close, and you can see everything here. Now, the banner stand product also comes with a description. The description comes right from the website of the vendor, so there should be no confusion as to what you're buying from the vendor and what the customer is getting. Everything here is being described because in this particular example, if you're using this product, you're most likely not printing these in-house. You're using this vendor. This is what we spoke about, about connecting a vendor's pricing to your ShopVox pricing catalog. If you are able to do that with any given product, it will make your life easier because you're copying exactly what you're getting from the vendor and parlaying it over to what the customer is going to receive. So, you know they're going to get that lightweight portable, which includes a carrying case. It's going to be printed on your nine ounce uh, polyester fabric. Uh, this is some information about the LED light that we chose. So it's got a couple of uh, details about the lumens, which is 450 watts, uh, 450 lumens with three watts, and that's very interesting because again you're being very detailed without having to take the time to actually program. Uh, and type that pro uh, that description into the product. It's there for you when you download this product. So by adding uh, a banner stand that we're going to outsource, naturally our gross profit margin went down uh, because we're outsourcing. We're giving our we're giving some of our profits away to the vendor. So it went from seventy five percent, just under seventy five percent, to just under sixty nine percent. So we're losing six points, give or take there. Uh, by outsourcing, which is up your prerogative. I mean, I continue to outsource in my own businesses. Uh, I think it's very good. I think quality control, I think a lot of the responsibility and the warranty aspect from using your vendor network is going to be um, con very productive for most of you and conducive to the way you guys operate. If you're a smaller like shop or if you're a print broker and you're vendoring out signs all the time, uh, this might be a great way to use Shopbox with all of your vendor networks if you continue to program each product from each vendor into your product catalog. So that's all for me today about banners and banner stands. Both of these products are readily available to you in the Shopbox community. Remember, go to POS, pro uh, POS settings, products, actions and then copy products that's how you're going to get these make sure you do and let me know how it's working out for your shop i would love to know if you guys need any help programming a product you can reach out to your success team you can reach out to me whatever the case may be and uh, we'll get right on it and helping you make sure that your calculations are done correctly i'm peter krunas with shopbox and like always everybody stay positive out there